So basically, the biggest hype right now is the fight between Floyd Money Mayweather and your boy Corner McGregor. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen how they promote UFC fights, man. They make Corner McGregor look like the biggest douchebag. He sounds like the biggest a-hole because he's such a big trash talker. But actually, he might be a really good guy. So today I'm going to show you a different side of him. And yeah, let me run my intro and let's check this out. Let's go. Want to join my free gift card giveaway? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me in the comment section below that you subscribe. What's up, gang gang? It's your boy, right? And let's get to these reactions. Alright guys, start by saying who do you think is going to win this fight? It's going to be a pure boxing match. So no kicks. If it was a fight, a fair one, you know, whatever, it's a fight, I would say corner. But then if it's pure boxing, comment down below, let me know what you think. Don't put money on your mouth though. I'll just say that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking sharp. <laughs> Wait, Corner actually smiles or laughs? It's the motherfucking D of Double G. <laughs> he did the Snoop Dogg gin and juice joint. Alright, so a lot of people hate Corner for the reasons I gave earlier. He's the the UFC promotes him as a douchebag. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. This video will from the make you change your mind. And reached out to them and said, "This kid from Ireland, um, he has cancer or he has leukemia or yeah. um, and he want his 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 final wish or I don't know. They were saying it's like this is this is probably going to be his last wish and his last wish is to talk on the phone to you and I don't know what you know so." I rang the kid and we talked for a long, long time. I talked with his friends in the hospital, his family. And, um, and today, or, 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 or last night, uh, he, he passed away, so. It, it f my head up because this little kid is in Ireland and I'm telling the kid I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this belt and I'm gonna head, I'm gonna bring the belt to you and we'll raise the belt. Or even I've saying, and I would have done it if he, I, would have flew him out here to Vegas, but they were thinking maybe if he got a little bit better, we could fly him out to Vegas. And I don't know. It's just a complete. It's just a really sad situation, and it's heartbreaking. I have lost family members to cancer, and it is a horrible, horrible thing. So I wish. I don't know. It would have been nice if I could have maybe. I don't know. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, and uh, I, I guess it really shows you the power stand you up. have it's as, a stand up uh, dude. That, with your celebrity to bring joy to someone's life who maybe wouldn't have had that joy. And uh, I thank you for doing this, and I wish you the best of luck. And uh, whether it's Mendez or Aldo or whomever it will be or it will be in the future, it can't not be entertaining with Conor McGregor. Thanks for doing this, my friend. Thank you. Guys, straight up, man. Look at the empathy he just put in that right there. He was going to fight for a little kid going through it. And, I mean, you got to give him respect for that. If you don't respect that, your perspective is whack. If you ask me. And uh, where do you live? My name is Conor McGregor and I live in Lucan. Started from the bottom. What's your profession? I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of four. But, guys, you can tell he's from the streets, man, because this man can't say Two sentences without dropping an F bomb. Don't believe me? Let's check it out. And one. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and. Fighter? I doubt you will see me on the UFC in the near future. Future? Whoa, what a bulge. Like, yo. Why'd they have to show us all that? no mistake I am cocky in prediction I am confident in preparation but I am always humble in victory or defeat you heard that humble in victory in defeat he's not a sore loser and look shake his hand he's a phenomenal champion he was a phenomenal champion 
he deserved we deserve to go a little bit longer I said it in the st in the octagon you know if you feel for that you don't that can happen you know you don't want to see want to see it like that it would have maybe a little bit stretched out but the same formula would have happened if not a little bit later but did you say to Max afterwards did you Damn. say you're a lot tougher I like his tattoo man fight? I said good fight thank you for the exchanges and he came to me and says you're a nice guy it's a, you're a showman so you know which is probably probably true I'm not the worst guy in the world even though you know I might be a little bit I might talk shit a little bit sometimes you know but when Bomb. just above the ear <laughs> dude shot. I think Corner is probably the biggest trash talker in the UFC because Mayweather has a big mouth himself. Damn. I can't wait, bro. I don't like looking at these things, you know. At the end of the day, we are all competitors. Nothing but respect for, for my competitors. That we, we all need each other at the, at, the, at the same time, you know. When it's done, it's done. Thank Damn, you very much. Damn, he got Jason a lot Carter. of scars on his face. You could this. tell he... Can you describe it was a battle wound right there. A loss like that, you know, He's taking a few punches in his life. The fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my in my life, and I've rose back. So I will not Looks shy like away from it. scratches as well. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and uh, come back. I know it's still very fresh, but in hindsight, you feel like you almost bit off more than you can chew here. I, um, I just Damn, his ear him. is like all swollen up, man. He was very efficient, and he took, Looks weird. He took shots well, and he his played um, with his energy well, whereas I didn't. I blew out, he did not. Uh, he almost felt I hurt him many times in the fight. I abandoned the body shots, the body shots were doing damage, but he cut me one or two jabs to the body and I, I avoided his body then after that. Um, but he played well, he went into autopilot mode where I I um, panicked a little bit. And this is it, you, you win or you learn it, so. Does this result mean that you're done fighting at 170? Yeah, definitely not, no. I take many fights. When mm. the history books are written, I show up. Um, I had many, many opportunities to walk from this fight. Um, even after Nate got brought in, you know, so I, I show up to fight. If, if there's one seven, you know, I enjoyed the test. I feel a little bit more practice I could. I could be aware, you know, most, if, if I was fighting a man my own weight, 155 or 145, they're going to be KO from them shots, you know, so I feel a little bit of an adjustment of knowing that the opponent will be able to take more of it. Um, Floyd is about 150 to, uh, if you ask me. That weight, no problem. If there's a fight there, ring me up, I'll, I'll answer the bell, no problem. As you can imagine, all your foes are asking to fight you now. In a perfect world, what would you like to do next? You know, I think I'll go down and take that. You know, I don't know. Uh, I've seen the Jose's thing, I mean, he can celebrate through another, another man's victory, but at the end of the day, when we face the Alright guys, the guy's a humble no, man. That's man. the sign of it. That's not the sign of it. That's surprising. You know, like, I bet a lot of you didn't know that. I defeated him. Some, he's celebrating his, somebody else. Don't make me go to his, him, his trash talk showed him video. Respect, so, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll go back down and shut him up one more time. But, <clears> this <throat> man talks a lot of crap. I'll, I'll be back. Again, Connor, thank you so thank much you. for the time and much respect on how you're handling this. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Loyalty is a strong thing for me, and I respect loyalty a lot. But I absolutely despise, uh, despise people who are disloyal, people who bite the hand that feeds them. I cannot relate to that in any way. There you have it. Gang, I knew what was gonna happen. Shout out to your boy. Link in the description, man. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. I'll start by telling you right now, man. That's gonna be an awesome fight it will be definitely entertaining both guys are showmen both guys are lit they have different vibes i think corner is kind of like me man he could go real high on his vibe and sometimes he could go real low mayweather he's like you know what i'm saying he he could be calm and go fast so he's like his vibe is steady so i don't know guys it's gonna be a hell of a fight man i can't wait to see it man Lord have mercy, man. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Who you think gonna win, man? Who are you supporting? Money May or your boy Corner? I'm not the type to pick sides, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys decide, man. I'm gonna tell you this, though. If it's a pure boxing fight, May Mayweather's a boxer, okay? 
if it's a pure UFC fight, your boy is an MMA artist. So you know what I'm saying? It's like whose court is is the ball on? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, guys, there you have it, man. I took these out, but I'm gonna bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Another one. So go ahead and give your boy a big thumbs up, man. You guys are oh so sweet, man. <laughs> Like straight up, like I, 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 yeah. Thanks for the love, man. So don't forget to give your boy a huge thumbs up, man. And if you're new, most certainly hit that subscribe button and join the family, man. And yeah, kick it with the chop it up downstairs in the comments, man. Let let me know about this fight if you're looking forward to it and what you think the the outcome will be, right? Yeah, man. So that's my time, gang, gang. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you.